our goal here is to do the complete area. When you're looking at a job, you want to take it from the road, down the chimney, with the epoxy from, from details, hitting any repair that needs to be on the inside, and carrying it right out the other end. Now, what are you so in the past, what would happen, either be a spot repair or they would dig up and do a total replace. There's just not enough money in the budget to be able to come through and tear it all up and rebuild it. That's where we're coming into play, have a cost-effective, 40-year type repair that we can put in. That is doing more than repair, it's almost doing a replacement yeah, on the inside. It's basically having all, all the... Designs for you and advise if you need to increase the thickness, 4 mil, 5 mil, 6 mil, whatever. Um, and then what, what we do is we basically impregnate it, we overlap it to get the three layers. We wrap it on the packet, position it in the pipe, inflate it, leave it for an hour, an hour and a half, and deflate the packet and you've got the repair in place. It's very, very mm. simple to do. The resin is silica resin two components, so it's only to one by volume, two parts resin, one part armor. Very, very easy to mix with one minute. Just mix it manually, you get a, like a caramel colour and it's mixed properly. Very, very easy to use. So, you start at the top now, if you can. So you start over, over the wheels, you cut the wheels. Times. Probably the hardest part of the whole job. Yeah. Pretty close. <laughs> what happens to this stuff after you... Uh, we, right? we just take it off base and throw it away. Well, I mean, does it stay in there or does it come out? No, the, 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 this comes out of the packet. Well, I mean, that plastic is put around. What happens to that? Yeah, it comes back out of the packet. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's what they're doing. Yeah, that's what they're doing. Yeah, that's what they're doing. I mean, like everything else, this all comes down to the quality of the install. Yeah, the there you go. Process. Just do what well yes. just to decide. It's a, uh, I mean, yeah. the product is almost salesman proof, so if I can figure it out, most anybody can. But the job is as good as a contractor is that day. Okay. A little bit more mixing it's ready so you don't have to put a lot of energy into it just do it very very steady and then if you're working on bigger diameter pipes um, hot climates where well, you've got to pull the packer okay and then basically using the spatula you just even it out on the surface and then you start on that side and we've got to put some on the back of it as well so not so a little bit more and make sure you do all the corners, get all the fabric on the corners. Try and keep it on the fabric as well. Okay. Yeah, with my if you forget any of this, I, this is a... Uh, no rush. I have this on my on the website. I'll show you. I'll show you yeah, you I mean, you, you can do it much faster, you don't have to be so delicate. Don't yeah, worry about it. Like that scrape is not a dollar forty-seven. Obviously, you need a manager. Shiny side of woods, short on the table space. Phil, you get that and just move it. Come here, start doing the edge. You got that work here. Yeah, that's what you want to do. Okay. Is that a more, dangle? More, 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 more. A dangle or flat? You, you fold yours on this. No, over. Yeah. And level it down to the top side. Quickly. Is that what you mean by leveling down? 
Oh, don't be shy with it. Right. This is better in uh, England? Germany. Germany? Of course. German. Germans. <laughs> Germans. <laughs> Figure out all the good stuff. Okay. They do this all. Yeah. They just do better. They actually do this in Oh, yeah. Overlap it at all, right? Right you to it. You fold it on the black line. Oh, black on the black line. So you go oh, all no. the way. All the way. Oh, all the way. Okay. So you just a bit here. Okay. And do that side. And then just save a bit for the other side. Then. Well, put some it's on there. And the way it's now, now you have the three layers in the middle. You've got two layers on the outside. So in, inside the pipe as well, you get a very smooth transition. So an engineer will make that, that side over. Okay, and then we'll do the back side. Yeah. And what also you get is all these loose fibers on, the, on here, all on the inside the pipe. Is, is this something that every city is going to approve? Or we have to show them of the video or whatever. They, they already priority already know about it. They already yeah. know about it. I mean, it, there's already a it's already being standard. Done. It's, oh, okay. it's got a proven track record in the US. Um, yeah, I mean, people are doing it, contracts are doing it, townships are doing it as well. Yeah, so it's not something you got to come in there. It's all on the inside there. Okay, so just position it a bit this way. Okay. Fold this inner layer over. Come on, then just roll. You just roll it, but make sure it's nice and tight, not not baggy yet. Yeah. Okay. And then just just lift the pack a little bit. Come on, I'll just just. <laughs> Just to pack a bit to get rid of the material there, so you want to okay. make sure that's nice and smooth. Alright. Put the binding wire underneath, so I'll lift one end. How far from the end? Just enough to hold it in place. Yeah, three inches. Inches. Half a meter yeah, to the line. Yeah. Now pull it tight, as tight as you can, yeah. twist it three or four times. Nice and tight. But that's actually considered four layers. Three layers. Three, three? Yeah. Okay. Because here as well you've got the overlap, if this sort of expands out or the material expands out. Yeah. Should we cut, cut, cut off these the off? Pipes up to you guys. Yeah. Hold the pipes for you. Here you go. Yeah, about to. And it should be good. Okay, we're about here. Okay, so in real life, when you've done the survey, you've marked off the position of the defect from the manhole. You've made the marks, so you can either basically use a CCTV system to position it, or you're using marks on a, on a rope which is attached to the packet. So when it's positioned in place, you have to get to the right position and then pressurise it. And again, all the packets have the, the maximum pressure, working pressure, and with this, it's around 28 psi. So bring it slowly up to pressure, not too fast. Bring it up to 28. 28. Just do, just bring it up very slow. slowly. Yeah. So you could use like a pancake air compressor, a small one, like a roofing one. Mm -hmm. It all just sort of depends on, on the size and the distance and how, how fast you want to inflate it. You see there, the binding might pop off there. Yep. Very nice, slowly. And you see how the, the packer inflates. So this is why you've got this, this surface contact in the pipe. It's 20 psi right there. And that, that's it. So now you, if you're working on the job site where you've got multiple defects, you have another packer, you might put it in the other, other direction or the, the downstream manhole or the 
next man all along, yeah. And you run off multiple packs off one air compressor. So, so they have to hold that pressure for a certain amount of time. Yeah. So now with this resin. What size does that packer repair up to? This one here does six to ten inch. Six to ten. Yeah. Six, 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 six eight, eight and ten. Six, six eight and ten. Yeah. And you have, you have a smaller one for a four? Yeah. He said inch and a half. The smallest is one and a half inch. <laughs> and how long do you leave it like that before they can pull it out? So with this this resin in a sewer, one, one and a half hours. Okay. If you've got groundwater infiltration, the, the, obviously the water has cooling effects on the resin, so you leave it half an hour longer. Oh, you, you, the other side of the pipe that's coming in. Yeah, we'll put, a, we'll put a stop. I mean, basically what, what, I, what I do is, depending on the flow condition in the pipe, if, if you've got a small flow condition, 10, 20%, you can in install this with, without stopping the flow, and you have a bypass here. So as soon as you inflate this, you block the, the pipe. The water then flows through the middle of the packet. So yeah, the water can flow through here yeah. right now. So you've got a two-inch two bypass there. Uh, two oh. oh, yeah. Okay. If the pipe's running at 50 or 80 percent, obviously it's going to start backing up. Um, again, we supply the pipe plugs. Um, if you want to stop stop the pipe completely and bypass it or overcome it. Or bypass plugs as well. No, it's just pretty much the same thing. It's just it's it's like a, bla this, a yeah. bladder yeah. stick in the pipe. Yeah. 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 Will yeah. the plastic yeah. come out with it, or may may stick to it, and you're still going to worry about it? Um, you might get a few little pieces on there. It's nothing to worry about, yeah. but it all comes out. What about this? Should I take it down? That you just use that and you keep an eye on that. You get an idea on the reaction time as well. Now, what happens if say down the road they got to run a cutter through it? The cutter tear that line around? No, I, mean, no, I can show you test reports actually, but it's very, very high danger resistance, very high mechanical properties. A, a normal sewer cleaner is not going to damage it. Right. Well, this is going to take an hour and a half to set yeah, up. So now, maybe we should have coffee. <laughs> no, they're going to do a repipe. They're going to do a repipe and leave it in the ground. What kind of manufacturer's warranty comes with this? Is it? Anything? So, the material itself, the design life is minimum 50 years. Wow. In terms of what the client asked for, they, they want warranty on workmanship. Yeah, contractor. sure. From what I've seen, and it varies, it might be 12 to 24 months, sometimes up to 10 years they ask for, yeah. Now, are you going to certify? Do you have to be certified to yeah, do so this? Yeah, we, so we'll come in and train you and certify you, basically. Cool. Oh, okay. So you get, you get certificates, you get a whole range of test reports.